to demonstrate the three needle bind off in slow motion for very visual learners. If you'd like to see my regular speed three needle bind off video, I'll give you a link. Just click the little eye in the upper right hand corner. And if you'd like to see my entire slow motion playlist, I'll also give you a link there to um, all the videos that are going in that list. Three needle bind off is used for seaming two pieces together when you have live stitches. And it's different than using the Kitchener stitch, which is grafting. This actually leaves kind of a ridge, but it's a pretty easy way of binding off and seaming at the same time. It's used a lot in um, shoulder seams or in the top of hoods. Mostly I'm thinking of sweater construction, but it comes up a lot. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. Let's go slow-mo. I have my two pieces that I want to seam together and the right sides are on the inside. The wrong side of the work is facing out on both pieces. This is going to leave a ridge and we want the ridge to end up on the inside of the work. I line the two pieces up and with a third needle go in as if to knit on the front needle, go in as if to knit on the back needle. And when you first do this, you'll kind of wish you had another set of hands. But you're essentially just knitting them normally. They're just kind of lined up. So we've just joined the two pieces with that stitch. I'm going to do the same thing on the next stitch here through the front needle, through the stitch on the back needle, wrap the needle, pull it through the one on the back, pull it through the one on the front. And now that we have two stitches on the right needle, we'll take the tip of our needle and pull it over, one stitch over the other in a normal bind off way. through both stitches. And now take the tip of the needle in my left hand and pull one stitch over the other. So we're left with one stitch on the needle. And you'll wish you had more hands when you first start doing this, but you see what I just did with my first finger there is I, I shoved the stitches down with my first finger <clears throat> because to, to advance the stitches on the needle would require a third hand or for me to put down the needle in my right hand to advance the stitches. So I just used my finger to shove the stitches down a bit further. I guess that's probably the most challenging part is keeping the stitches on both needles in your left hand close to the tip. I'm going to slip that live stitch over onto the left needle so that I can flip everything around and show you. There is a ridge on the inside. It's tidy looking, but there is a ridge. And on the other side of the work, 
It is beautiful and a strong seam. When you get to the end of the row, you can just cut the yarn and pull it through the last loop and tighten it up just like you would any other bind off. I hope that helps. Good luck.